in the seventh question we are given two functions first one is fx is equal to mod of log 2 minus sin x and another function gx is nothing but f of f of x so uh, the point under consideration is x equal to 0 in the neighborhood of 0 log 2 will always exceed sin x therefore for 0 minus delta to 0 plus delta fx can directly be written as log 2 minus sin x and gx now fx we can see obviously it is going to be a differentiable function and f of f of x which is your gx is log 2 minus sin of f of x now that is log 2 minus sin of log 2 minus sin x now this function is gx and we have to next find the value of derivative of g at x equal to 0 so we can just differentiate this function g dash x equals to minus of cos log 2 minus sin x and differentiation of this will give us minus cos x so this will become plus cos x and we have to just find g dash 0 so we will put x equal to 0 here and we will have cos of log 2 as our answer cos of log 2 means the option number 3 is correct option in question number 8 we are given a plane x minus y plus z minus 5 equal to 0 and there is a point given here 1 minus 5 9 and we have to measure the distance of this point from the plane but that is along a particular direction that is measured along the line parallel to x equal to y equal to z means the vector parallel to this particular line is i plus j plus k so we can take a simple approach we can just write the equation of the line solve it with the plane to get this point and then we will measure the required distance therefore we will write the equation of this particular line l first and that is going to be x minus 1 upon 1 equal to y plus 5 upon 1 equal to z minus 9 upon 1 and let us call this as lambda now if I say this is the name of the point is not given so if I assume this to be q and this to be p then I can assume the coordinate of point p to be equal to lambda plus 1 lambda minus 5 lambda plus 9 and to get the value of lambda I will put this particular point on this plane and from here we can get the value of lambda and uh, value of lambda after putting this point in this plane lambda comes out to be minus 10 and from there if I put lambda equal to minus 10 over here the coordinate of point P becomes minus 9 minus 15 and minus 1 so we have straight away got the point and we will just now apply the distance formula to get the length PQ and after distance formula the length PQ comes out to be 10 root 3 and therefore uh, option number 3 is the correct option to this question in question number 9 we have to find the eccentricity of hyperbola whose length of lattice rectum is 8 that means 2b square by a is given to be equal to 8 and length of its conjugate axis that is 2b is equal to half the distance between its foci so the distance between the foci is 2 ae so half the distance would be ae so from here we can straight away say that b by a is equal to e by 2 and we can use the formula b square is equal to a square into e square minus 1 for hyperbola and here b by a from here we can read the value of b by and put it over here so b square by a square will amount to e square by 4 equals to e square minus 1 so 1 would be equal to 3 e square by 4 and from here e is equal to 2 by root 3 so eccentricity's value is 2 by root 3 and therefore option number 4 is the correct answer to the question
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन देर इज अ पैराबोला गिवन टू अस हुज इक्वेशन इज वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू एट एक्स एंड देन देर इज अ सर्कल गिवन हुज सेंटर इज जीरो गॉमा माइनस सिक्स एंड रेडियस इज वन यूनिट सो सेंटर इज जीरो गॉमा माइनस सिक्स एंड रेडियस इज वन यूनिट and we have to find the equation of the circle which passes through c and having its center at p about point p it is told that p is the point on the parabola which is at the minimum distance from the circle so obviously the point with the minimum distance would lie along the common normal this is going to be that point so we can assume the parametric equation uh, coordinate for this particular point at square to at so i can take the point as 2t square 4t and now we have to find point p or the value of t we get t and the problem will be solved so we'll write the equation of the normal first which is y plus tx is equal to 2at plus at cube so that is y plus tx in this case a is 2 so 2at would make it 4t plus at cube that's 2t cube and we'll just put the coordinates of the center 0 minus 6 over here so in place of y we put minus 6 and in place of x we put 0 equal to 4t plus 2t cube so obviously t equal to minus 1 is a root of this equation and when we further factorize this we find that there is no other real root to the equation therefore putting this t over here we can get the coordinate of point p straight away and that will be 2 comma Minus four, and with distance formula we can read uh, the distance CP, which is going to be the required radius of the circle. So the radius of the circle would obviously be two uh, root two by distance formula, which is equal to CP, and center of the required circle would be two comma minus four. So we can now write the equation of the circle as x minus two square. Plus y plus four square equals to eight, and if we simplify this, we get x square plus y square minus four x plus eight y plus twelve equal to zero. And if we check the option, option number two is the correct option to this particular question.